Today I'm going to teach you the connection game. This is a lovely way to deepen your connection with your dog. It's the foundation of all the training that we do on our Thinking Dog programs. I'm going to explain more about this as the week goes on because you can use it in so many different situations. We teach our dog to, to feel really good about connecting with us and the important thing about this game is it's entirely about your dog's choice. When dogs are making choices to do things, they start to feel very confident. So you'll find that we don't use any cues. We're not telling the dog to watch me. Um, we're not doing anything to get the dog's attention. It's entirely about the dog choosing to come into us and to either look at our eyes or to look at our faces. It's very, very simple to get started. All you need is a treat pouch, which needs to be full of plenty of treats. Um, I'm going to ask you, first of all, to start off with five treats in your hand and Randomly, I've managed to pull out five treats. How about that? Obviously, you need your dog as well and your voice. That's all you need. So we're going to get started. And what we're planning to do for this first bit is we're going to teach Betty to feel really good every time she hears that word good. So we say the word and we pair with a treat. I'm going to do that five times and then we're going to move on to the next session. Good. 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 Hold on. So the next step, you need five treats in each hand. The likelihood of me being able to pull out 10 treats and put five in each hand is pretty much nil, so I'm doing it fairly randomly. Now the important thing with this step is that you put your hands behind your back. You then clearly say good, and then you bring the treat round from behind your back and you put the treat in your dog's mouth. Make sure that you say the word good before you start to bring your hand round. So I'm just gonna show you that once more. It's good, and then the treat comes round, and you put the treat in your dog's mouth. Good. Why did we put our hands behind our backs? Because we want the dog to be connecting with us, not with our treats. Um, and some dogs can be very, very inclined to start staring at your hands. Uh, and when you're playing this game, if you find that your dog does sometimes look up at your face or your eyes and sometimes look back at your hands, then just quietly put them back behind your back every single time and you'll find that your dog very quickly gravitates towards your face as it starts to understand that's what it's being paid for. Now we're moving on to the connection part of the exercise. When I said earlier about putting your hands behind your back, that was because we don't want the dog to be staring at our hands. What we want is for the dog to be looking up at our face. Now it doesn't matter whether they're getting eye contact with us or if they're looking at any other part of our face. The important thing with this game is that they are connecting with us in some way. So what we're going to do now is we just wait for Betty to look towards us. And as soon as she does, whether she's looking at my chin ears, nose or eyes, then she's going to get her good and she's going to get paid with a treat. If she looks at my eyes, that's fantastic, but just bear in mind some dogs should struggle with that when they're first doing it. So, show you how to do this and then we'll move on to the next step.
So that's the connection game. You can play it a couple of times a day, probably for up to about three minutes. When you start off, if your dog is particularly nervous and finds it a little bit difficult, just do it with 10 treats. It doesn't need to be many. Um, always watch your dog. If she's happy doing it, she's coming in with a waggy tail and wanting to look at you, then play it for up to three minutes. It doesn't need to take any longer than that. And you're starting to deepen your relationship with your dog.